Well, hey folks, this is Seven here, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today on the Maypole Farm. Indeed, Farm Sim 22, and we are on our way to the ginormous grass field to spray a little fun time fertilizer. Indeed, we are uh, a little low on the old nitrogen, so we will put that back in, and it does make sense that that is... Uh, the particular nutrient that grass would uh, thrive upon. But of course it's uh, also the only one the game really looks at. So let's just go with it. Indeed. I've bought... Uh, show you. Check this out. Uh, so here's our Kubota sprayer. Well, I bought the accessory for it, which is a spare tank that holds ooh, a fair bit. Yeah, nice little unit, not super expensive, and I thought it was well worth it. We should be able to uh, do even, oh, I don't know, the cornfield without, uh, without getting, uh, well, concerned with the amounts we may have left so everybody here should actually be doing pretty good now I think well I'm hoping so let me figure out a good way to do this No, you watch this. And it, oh no, I guess uh, we don't get weeds in grass fields, do we? It's just sort of not a thing, I think. Look at that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. No. <clears throat> Let's uh, load up the system. Auto width. 24 meters. That looks about right, doesn't it? Okay. Let's set A there. And... I think that's pretty straight. Let's uh, set our B marker. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Well, if I haven't done too, too terrible a job, we should... be able to make pretty short work of it. Oh, yeah. Um... It's not showing that it's actually using anything. Um... Hmm... Oh, for heaven's sakes. Why have I got herbicide in here? Oh, for... <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Yep, we're off to a good start, aren't we? No wonder we did such a nice job. <laughs> oh boy, Monday mornings. Well, actually, it's Saturday morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Ah, uh, ow, you know. Why did I think I needed this? I guess because I'm still... ...concerned that we do have the fields that need weeding, but they seem to want us to use the weeder. How's this guy doing? Weeds medium. Ho! Oh, this isn't our cornfield. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, that vehicle doesn't sound like it's exceeding the speed limit too much. Here's our giant cornfield. No, it's just basically nothing. Hmm. Well. <laughs> ah, there's our big crate o' butter. Yeah, we gotta hope the cows start producing a little bit better milk. Oh man, I can't believe that. What a fracas that is. Well, now I mean, I'm sure at this point uh, most people would simply empty this, get the right spray in it, and start the video with the right spray and go ahead, but well, yeah. Hi, Zach. Didn't expect to see me so soon. Yeah, that's a shocker. Alright, um... No. Alright, so we gotta go back to the front. And... Boom. Okay, now it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> we'll deal with those. So... Now... Let's grab the right stuff, shall we? Unbelievable. <laughs> hey, look, liquid fertilizer. Oh, it's the only thing that's even more expensive than the freaking herbicide. Um, yeah, those would be our only choices. Corteva at 32 at 2,000, or Helm at 32 per 2,000. Hmm. Well, we're already running this brand. We might as well stay with it. Maybe someday they'll give us a deal. All right. Let's uh, detail this. Are you going to make me buy these one at a time, aren't you? Buy. Yes. Okay. Buy. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's 8,000. There we are.
Alright, it doesn't quite fill the machine, but uh, I'm pretty sure 10,000 liters. Considering, should do the job. <laughs> I mean, you know, providing it's actually 10,000 liters of the right stuff. Which, in this case, I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, but now that's really annoying. So is it our sunflower field that required... Oh no, this isn't it yet. Gotta, uh... Sorry, sorry. Uh... Well, this definitely looks like it needs something. Um, no? Even the pH is pretty reasonable. Okay. I don't know. Somewhere, we have something that I need to spray herbicide all over. I just don't know where it is. Well, that's great now that I have all those extra pallets and pallets and pallets upon pallets of uh, herbicide laying around. Because one thing you want to make sure of is that you store as much poison as possible everywhere you can. Because that's never done any harm. Alright, here we go. 10,000 liters of yum yum juice. Let's get on it. And I mean, on this trip down, I even discussed how we needed to apply nitrogen and yada yada. But, uh, didn't sink in. Okay, this needs a weeder. This needs nothing. Okay. But a weeder? I don't want to use a weeder. I think we've established that. Kaka. Oh well. See, I don't make my own weeders, but we do make our own herbicides. So, yeah. It just seems somehow fair. So, when can I plant corn? Not at the moment, I know, but I think sometime soon. It is, uh, what? October. Hmm. Let's check that when we come to a stop. Don't want to one of these people that's looking at their, uh, phone screen as they're driving down the road. Lord knows my driving is questionable enough. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Um, seasonal. The planting of the corn. April and May. Okay, we're a long ways off. Yeah, we're still in the, uh, grain planting season. Oh, I hope it's not going to be the GPS broken again. That would suck. Alright, here we go. Applying fertilizer. Hey, it's actually using some this time.
Ok. Euh, nah. Oh, here we go. Uh, auto wipe. On. I don't like this. I get a feeling it's gonna tell me something weird. It has set A there, has it? Huh? Okay. So... I don't get it. Why is A up there now? Why? And look, it's actually using the program. <laughs> oh boy. But we are uh, almost past our mistake here. Coming up on it. Coming up on it. And there we go. We're not quite going to get that edge, but it doesn't matter. That's actually just non-crop for the most part and it'll give us kind of a neat uh, cell-shaded look to our field <laughs> oh we missed a spot uh, well, ruined the entire effect so big shout out to uh, sooty farmer yeah, quite enjoyed your episode yesterday buddy on uh, three channels eh? Poor, poor boy. I guess that's, uh, that, that's, that's like Lord Andrew then, is it? Hmm? Hmm? We got one channel, and that's if you were really adept at twisting the old rabbit ears into alignment. Know what I mean? That was the CBC. Yes, indeed, the CBC. Which used to play a lot of NFB. Which is the National Film Board. And, uh, funny enough, although they used to have some really interesting content, um, I noticed when I was, uh, scrolling through my smart TVs, ooh, free stuff that's recommended, because, you know, I'm cheap and I like free stuff, um, that the NFB is now on there. So I switched to it and had a look at their programming. Yeah. Not impressed. They've gone, uh, well... Without being political about it, they've gone full woke. <laughs> yeah, so. Anyway. The, uh, yeah, we used to get one channel, buddy. Yeah. I remember when I moved out to, uh, out to Alice Lake when I was living at the north end of Vancouver Island. And, uh, wanted to get not only a little bit of FM radio if I could, but, if possible, a, uh, a news channel on my little portable TV to, uh, well, just to catch up on the news. So let's do a headland here. I, uh... Now... Port Alice isn't exactly, uh... That's where I was on the north end of the island. And it's not exactly a great place to try and... Well, what the heck, man?
Yeah, it, it, it's... There's mountains, there's valleys, yada yada. Long story short though, it really sucks to try and get any sort of reception. So what I resorted to doing was taking a, about a hundred foot lead. It was four antenna. I'd actually gotten it with some shortwave radio thing or something that I picked up at a pawn shop years before. And uh, I took that and about 20 feet of chicken wire and I went up to the top of a huge, huge cedar tree that was right down by the lakefront. And I climbed as high into it as I could get. Dragging the antenna wire out behind me as I went. Until... That's... Looks like I'm setting up a soccer field or something. I don't know. And, uh, yeah. I was eventually, by wrapping, uh... The chicken wire a good... Oh. I'm sure I must have been close to a hundred feet off the ground. And, uh, lots of it. Darn near killed myself a couple of times. But luckily, I was young and agile then. And, uh, when I hooked the antenna wire up to it, lo and behold, I had three FM stations. One of which we could get all the time. The other two, uh, most of the time. And, uh, CBC. Yeah. Absolutely terrible, but yeah, I did get some then. And considering there wasn't even a glimmer of it before the antenna, I will, uh, I will indeed count on the uh, the genius of my antenna for being the thing that worked it out. Uh. Okay, let's try something here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I would like to boom, 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 boom. Grab a tractor. Mm. Go for the big fella. Actually, no, it's just yard work. We'll grab this. And I need a smaller trailer. Alright, first thing we want is a load of wheat. Wheat. That'll do. Do -do -do -do. Doesn't exactly sit very nice on this uh, hitch, does it? Some of them you can kind of adjust the angle, but this one doesn't seem to uh, be that way. Alright, now this I want to take not to the chickens, but unless they need some. Do they need some? Do you need some chickens? 7200 liters. I think you're pretty good, eh? You good? Buck, 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 buck. Buck, buck. Last chance. Buck, buck. No? Okay. There'll be no buck, buck today. It's just a abnormally high mount, I guess, on this tractor. Hmm.
Oh, I see a full pallet. Oh, whoa. Excellent. And look at that. Indeed. Let them eat cake. Yes, cakey goodness. Alright. Pretty sure it's wheat flour that he's making, so... Ooh, I don't want to hit that thing. There we go. Let's try and keep it in the uh, flat parts. There we go. I'm not going to worry about it for the moment, but I'm also not going to leave the old super strength on. Like I said, I have no, uh, no desire to flip my tractor over and over. Alright, so that is that. And we'll now continue to roll out the flower. See you get wheat out of here. Potatoes, no, there we are. Start. Do a lot of transporting, don't we? Jeez, buddy. If you want to come with me, ask me before I get in the tractor, you dumb dog. Good lord. See? That proves cats are smarter. When my cats see me coming towards them, 
they generally get out of the way. Just because they know what a klutz that is, you know? Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. Alrighty, Billy. Now, what do I got around the side of that other... Okay, we got one thing of unsalted butter. Oh, I was just seeing this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the big problem with it, of course, is that we don't have uh, mooch in the way of milk. Because up until this point, our cows haven't been mooch in the way of productive. Oof, that's a tight little corner. Pretty sure this guy is still spitting out the oil. Yep, it's got a full, full pallet display on there. Okay, hello, Dexter. How you doing, little buddy? So I guess the question here is... What in fact we have... Ah, uh, okay. We're kind of full up. We need to... Uh, yeah, we got a few of these. I think these guys are at full. Yeah, they are. Because the adults sell for 525, so these ones are now. So let's sell 10 of these. Yes. And let's sell. Ten of these. Okay. That will leave us room for 20 pigalettos as they are spawned. Awesome. Suppose I should check how much we got in the way of chickens too. Might be time to thin that particular herd as well. So they've been here for over a year and I've no doubt have been productive yes these are maxed as well so it is unfortunately the $25 chickens there we go select you don't get much of course but we gotta make room guys as well okay 
Okay. And that'll leave us room for 40 chicks. Cows, I don't think, are going to have that issue. Yeah, 60 of 80, so they're nowhere near. And as you can see, we're not up to that point either, so... All right. And the sheep, I don't think, are... Uh, Anything like that? We can, uh, ooh, nice, yes. Um, where's your little, ah, oh, there it is. Your little paw print. Oh, 45 of 45. Yeah, you're still not up to full snuff, though. Alright, well, don't be having any young. Because we don't have the room. And you, yeah, as well, not quite there yet. Alright, you do have food and stuff, I take it? Oh yeah. And a pallet of wool for me, lovely. Okay. Um, oh. It would appear... Where did I leave my... Ah, up here that our fella's done and I know he can't do it all because there is some weirdness to it so let's grab a shot of this for the pigs down the road and we'll have to restock it Ooh, getting down there. Ooh, wow, we got the full trailer. Awesome. Well, that's gonna make a barn full of piggies happy. Hey, Zach. Yeah. Uh, that was a little too worried about hanging the trailer up on the gate that I didn't uh, pay enough attention to the snow to the tractor. Alright, let's get there. Come on, Lambo. Raw power. this up at the pig silo and then we'll go bail out our uh, sprayer dude I'm picturing it being hung up in a hedge to be honest with you so whoa 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 obviously there's one of them stupid posts in there there we go Came in a little hot. Just a little hot. Okay. Now, if I remember rightly, this is a tiny bit awkward. And I'm pretty sure I do, so. Yeah. Yeah, um. be quite that tight around the fence. That would require someone with skills. Now, the other thing, if I remember rightly, is that we've got to be off to the side there. There we go. There we go. All right, let's see what sorts of trouble. Hello? Hello? 
No idea. Um. Uh. How many guests this had? No, actually, he well. There you are. Ah. Uh. You did get stuck in the fence. Not bad. Still got a lot of spray left. Used just over 2,000 liters so far. bits don't seem to show up on the map so I guess they're just again a graphical glitch seems Giants comes up with a lot of them huh. all right let's head down the hill And now the grass fields should be super producers again. No. Not quite, eh? Hey? That's okay. That's okay. white line on the field. Really? Even there you're gonna leave a... Leave a chunk, are you? Hmm. Well, I'm glad we don't have to do this every time we, uh... Crop out the grass. Oh, wow. Talk about your wear and tear. Our maintenance is about a third gone. Alrighty. Oh well, we are heading back to the farm with this thing once we're done with it, so we'll throw her on the garage and see what they say. And okay. Done deal. Done deal. And with that, guys, I think I'll call the episode. So I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It does help out a bunch. Or so I'm told. Till next time, though, take care of each other. And ciao for now.